All right, what does the panel think of Ellen leaving the country? And he's a strong man, and he, <laughs> he says what he means, and, and he is... The last time he was here, I want to show you... Yeah, exactly. She was asking what kind of table this was. This was a different table last time. Let's show everybody what happened last oh, time. Oh, 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 there you go. I'm not afraid of clowns. I, but I heard that you were. <laughs> Hollywood is in panic. A land debuted a new look in England after reportedly leaving the United States because of Donald Trump presidential victory. I have seen a lot of people and articles coming out about this, some linking to Didi. Ladies and gentlemen, Ellen DeGeneres has left the United States and has said, quote, she's never coming back. Ellen DeGeneres and wife Portia De Rossi have moved to rural England, put their Montecito estate on the market, and plan to never return to the United States, telling friends that the election of Donald Trump was the primary motivation. Is it really the election of Donald Trump or is it who Donald Trump is appointing to his cabinet this second time around? Like Cash Patel, the front runner for director of the FBI, who has openly said on many podcasts he wants to release the Epstein files and the Diddy list. And it's no secret that P. Diddy and Ellen are friends. Ellen tweeted for his birthday, happy birthday P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean Combs, or as I call him, Cuddle McSnuggle Stuff. You don't need to know why. And we're not even bringing up the weird stuff surrounding Ellen, Twitch, and Diddy, but you should look that up on your own time. Unlike all of the other Hollywood celebrities that threatened that they were going to leave if Donald Trump was elected, she actually did. So I have to give her credit for that. But the question is, why? Was it because of Donald Trump or something else? As always, I want to hear what you think about all of this down below. It's happening, guys. Celebrities are starting to leave the U.S. When? Why didn't you do that in 2016? That's my question. A lot of people are speculating that she's using this Trump win as an excuse to leave the country, when in reality, she's trying to get away because of the Diddy situation. Ellen DeGeneres was one of Diddy's super close friends. She's had her on her show. This actor, during that campaign period, this is what he said. American actor Rob said he would set himself on fire if Trump wins the 2024 election. Mm. Today, the guy sent this out. I have made the decision to take the next few days to check into a facility for peace and relaxation. No phone, social media, no trust, just calmness to heal my pain. Mm. Trump broke these people. He cannot even take it again. Just imagine going in to isolate yourself after I really don't understand the kind of mentality these people have. When Trump won in 2016, we never saw this. He did nothing to any person or harm anyone. Why are they panicking like this? Especially these Hollywood celebrities. I don't get it. If you have answers to that, drop on the comment section. I said last year, yeah. everybody you know, on the internet called me a liar all the time and she said I lie about this fucking thing. On another clip, the other day, LeBron James took a decision to go off on social media. Mm, I've seen a lot of these people living as like they can't take it any longer. Trump winning this election put these people into a different state. Especially those with severe case of TDS. I want to send a message to the Biden Harris administration. If they see this, they see this. If other bigger creators make similar messages, that would be great. You asked us to mobilize. We mobilized. You asked us to volunteer. We volunteered in droves. You asked us to donate. We donated. 
over a billion dollars we donated. You asked us to fight, we fought. Now stop asking us to send more money and the fight begins now when you know damn well the fight is now in your hands, not ours. Stop showing us that you're gonna play by the rules when you know very well that they're not playing by the rules. The rules have changed. You need to take action now. If you voluntarily turn this country over to the autocratic dictator at his clown show of an administration that he's been assembling, if you let democracy fall in this country, if you let millions of people die, and you know millions of people will die under that administration, then your legacy and the one thing you will be remembered for in history is allowing democracy to fall in the United States. The Biden-Harris administration will be known throughout history as the administration that let this country turn into an autocratic dictatorship and you know we'll never get it back. If the options are dictatorship or civil war, we choose civil war. I choose civil war. Stop playing by the rules and do something. This one is indirectly calling for civil war. Insane, right? They are still having hopes that something can be done. <laughs> it is crazy at this point. If you see other mentality, people are gradually even going out. You are still here spewing these. All right, what does the panel think of Ellen leaving the country? Oh, <laughs> I, th this I find so fascinating because first Ellen is canceled by the left. I mean, she, she said, I was kicked out of show business. That wasn't from the right. That was because she had a toxic workplace and all the things that the people are. <laughs> oh, yeah. So then Trump gets, so she's canceled by the left in her country, but then she's leaving the country because the right got elected. I'm just asking. The right got elected. I'm just asking about that. I don't <laughs> completely compute, right? Did you, she sell her house? You think she's really going to leave? Yes, country? she's already there. Where? And she announced it. England. England. Cotswold. England. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Well. I, I know. I, I've met her mother, and I don't think she would have agreed with that. Her mother is very down to earth. Her mother. She's, well. she's always lived in L.A., right? Yeah. And now she's in the Cotswolds? Yeah. I give it like four months. <laughs> report that the GDP per capita of the UK, if it were a state of the United States, would be 51st. Right. And so there's a very big difference between living in the United States and living anywhere else in the world. That's so I, 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 think she's, I think she's overreacting. But if you have money, every place is good. Right? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Speaking fee. <laughs> with their normal salary. Maybe she'll come back home for the holidays. We don't know. No. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait. <laughs> Even Libras are mocking her. She's overreacting. <laughs> I didn't expect this actually. When you look at the whole situation, you know, surrounding her, you know, it is actually difficult to figure out what exactly why she did that. I understand it is strong. If Kamala won, this lady would not leave. Impossible for her to do that. But I just believe that with time, they will recover. If they see a lot going on smoothly, they will rethink, change their decision. Those living social media will come back. As of now, let's just observe and see. Play that sound for me again with what Oprah Winfrey said the day before the election on the campaign trail for Kamala, for Kamala Harris. Could you play that sound for me again, please, to refresh everybody's memory? Play <laughs> Virginia, immigration was the number one issue. <laughs> yes. I mean, again, these could change in, in Virginia. Well, Virginia does have a border with West Virginia. <laughs> very, very contested area. Thinking, Build a wall. Like, what? I was just reading something about CNN's ratings <laughs> and MSNBC's ratings post-election. They've crashed. All these left-wing kooks on YouTube are hemorrhaging subscribers. Cat turd. Yeah. And is... Spin-off oh, company. There's no spin-off. 
That, see, you buy the propaganda, Cuomo. Oh, okay. See what I mean about I'm just saying people? what's being reported. All right. All the celebrities with their mass exodus. Over these numbers, $10 million for Beyonce. It's to make real change. He's got to not attack the left, and not attack everybody. Let them all talk their s***, but unite. Now yeah. it's time. Hey. I want you to know what would change after doing this. I'm going to shake it off. Figure out a way to say thank you. No matter how you disagree with someone politically, you should never pray for this. That guy. You mentioned that guy's name. He's such an absolute, absolute prick. I can't stand him. But anyway. <laughs> uh hey there. I'm guessing you're not doing great. Me neither. Let's be honest. It was a terrible night. What will the rest of us be doing on day one? Right now well. <laughs> Bishop Vigano. He says that the a lot of people were confused about why the sacrifice but that's okay because you know what listen do you remember she's uh, the, an idiot you know. that's the other thing 